Hey guys, BJ the Brave here, back with another deck guide for you. And this time I am bringing you an updated version of, uh, I guess it's Shimatsu's um, Big Synapse Swarm Lord deck. Now, this is uh, a pretty powerful deck right now, actually, in the meta. It's probably very, very high in the tier rankings, mainly because... Um, Imatech is kind of like one of the key uh, key warlords and decks that's sort of determining the meta. And Swarm Lord is very good against Imatech. So if you're losing lots of games to Imatech, this is a really great deck for you. So I'm going to jump into the deck and then we're going to have a few games uh, and bring it to life. Um, what I would say is um, uh, please hit the like button. And also, uh, if, you, if you aren't aware... Shimatsu is actually going to be joining my stream on the 8th of June. We're going to have a... I'm doing a 12-hour mega stream doing deck booster uh, code giveaways. Uh, we've got lots of like guests coming in. We're doing some tournament-style matchups and all sorts of stuff. So if you're around on the 8th, then please join us for that. That's 1 p.m. BST. We've got to hit 1,000 subscribers for that to go ahead. We're very close now. So thank you, all of you, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Really appreciate it, um, just hanging out, liking the videos, watching the content, and especially those of you, of course, those of you who have gone above and beyond and given me Twitch Primes and uh, joined the Guild Wardens and all that, but it's all it's all good. I appreciate it all, so just wanted to let you know about the 8th. All right, so let's jump into Big Sign Up. So here's the deck. So uh, what we've got is uh, a deck. Uh, this deck is very much about building the board, taking over the board from opponent, and then finishing in kind of like one big hurrah so that means that with swarm lord we're not hitting face we're not just mindlessly hitting face uh we should really be conserving our 40 health for important trades um because we don't really need to sort of get chip damage with this deck like one, when, once we're ready to attack it's often we can often do 40 damage from one turn so it's pretty brutal all right so we got two neuroloids this is mainly to enable us to get synapse on stratagems because it's a zero uh cost synapse uh as originally intended in terms of its design, it allows you to get uh, really maximized from your uh, stratagem. So what have we got? We got Encircle the pet Prey for stealth, of course. Only one Predator Instincts, which is very interesting. Uh, like, like I say, uh, I've got this from Shimatsu, so I'm not sure why I only went with one and not two. But I guess it's just a case of um, trying to fit everything in. Uh, a double Adrenal Surge, obviously good for early removal and good for combo potential. Double enhanced organism. You've got to remember this gives health. It's not healed, so you can go well above your original starting. It also means that <coughs> it will affect your warlord if they are next to the synapse creature. Oh, so infinite biomorphologies is superb. This card got a really good buff when it went down to two instead of three, so we run this. We do run, uh, and often you'll run that on like, you might play that like turn five, for example, with a gene stealer. Just depends on the hand. Uh, we do run the node beast, so we can run one, get one or two synapse. Um, often we'll play two of them on turn four. Now we've got the new gargoyle, and the gargoyle obviously is really interesting because if we need to remove that stern guard sergeant on turn three, for example, we've got the gargoyle flanking ability. So we'll always look for this in our open hand. However, if we don't need it, like if we can play gene steel on three proactively, then bringing this on turn six or turn nine for a big flanks to. It, it acts as really solid removal, so very, very good unit. The Gene Stealer we always want in our open hand, so we want to be looking heavily for this in the mulligan. Um, and generally speaking, we can kind of play this and um, play another one. Rather than making it bigger next turn, you put another one into stealth, and that kind of gives you your early game. Obviously, Hardened Biology, once we're ready to play a Neuraloid and actually build a board that might stick, then Hardened Biology is a great tool for that. As is Enhanced Organism, these are both great tools for kind of that let's make it stick turn. Ravenous Hunter is obviously our finisher. I don't think anyone who's been playing this game more than two minutes needs me to explain much more than this. But uh, again, nice with a Neuraloid if we really need that synapse. Too many Prime just because it's a good all-round card, a good drop on the floor. Proactive, just like the Neuro, Neuro Be Node Beast as well. That's generally what we're looking for. We've also got the Venom Throat. We can obviously drop this on its own or we can drop it with um, uh, Stealth. Or even the flank um, stratagem. Carnifex is Carnifex. It's one of the better five drops in the game. Um, it's a core card, so everybody's got it. And we generally want to be playing this for um, armor. Although 
do be mindful of when occasionally nowadays uh sometimes playing the ranged is okay as well but that's really knowing the matchup and looking at what you might be coming up against but definitely the armor is kind of let you go to if you're not sure do any guard because this is obviously what's going to help us uh, survive and maybe get something to stick for a turn and hide in behind the guard the brood lord uh is one of the keys for setting up the finisher with the ravenous hunter the hive crones are just great six drops some of the best six drops in the game certainly in the tyranid faction a really a really solid uh rally effect and then with the flying and seven health really difficult to get rid of uh and then we have obviously one of the new rapacious hungers so a bit of aoe and that three damage is uh, a massive difference it makes a really big difference it, for those who don't know it used to be two damage and cost five now it's costing six with three damage it's uh, much much better aoe and then last but not least we've got the hive tyrant now this really gives this game uh, uh some real late game reach if we need it because hive tyrant's really uh got great stats and his ability just um essentially doubles the effects of swarm odds it's, it's absolutely insane like if you're playing the synaptic imperative uh you, you you're going to be running away with the game so that's the deck let's get into some games Okay, so we're playing against Kalgar. So we want to be looking for uh, units, which we've got. Rapacious isn't bad, um, particularly if he goes with the uh, Impulsor on turn 5. And effects means we can play this turn 3, so that's pretty good. I think I am going to actually throw away the Hunger, though. Eat everything else. Yeah, prefer this, much prefer this. Just having that unit always take the digestion pool if you've not unlocked the digestion pool yet on the forge then i want to tell you that uh tunis becomes an entirely different faction once you this is probably the single most important forge item in warp forge because it really just completely changes how good tunids are um once you get it so hunt hard for the digestion pool So here we go, we're going to pull out the card effects now. And we're going to give it the armor. Now I think we can hit face. Probably want to play the prime before we play the node, just because if we get a chance to obviously synapse it then then we get um, some benefits there then again this does come with six health this has got better trading stats let's just see Take that out. Okay, so it does have the hard removal. Now the, this is an interesting turn, right? Because, well, let's see what we draw. But I was thinking, like, we've, we've got a really interesting choice between... Uh, the synapse, the proactive. Ah, okay, this changes things a little bit. Ooh, oh, this is nice. Oh, this is really nice. Hmm, there's a couple of options here. I actually think I like this more.
that would be 14, 24. I think that would technically be lethal next turn. I've factored that in right. I hope I have, because otherwise we, sh we just should remove that, right? Does he attack? Yeah. We just play the Adrenal Surge. Boom! Got him. And that's why generally I try to keep the um, the hunter, rapacious hunter, if if we can, if we can, we got the board as well for it. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, So we got the gene stealer open this time. I think we're going to play this as well because, like, if he wants to beat us down, then we get more, and we're not really going to try and beat him down early. Getting the extra energy and resources would be good. Uh, we're not going to attack fast. Okay. Could play that as well, or do we want to just play? 
health on the on this guy. I'm not sure if that's correct because we might need this later. This is a real pain in the ass against Swarm Lord. So we're going to play this on here, and we're going to hit this, and this. And we're not attacking with you. Not sure about this positioning, actually. He already used one of those, hasn't he? Guess he kills the gene stealer, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here, do I want to play the genes do or do I want to play this? I think I want to play this, you know. Such a good card, hard in biology. What a turn up for Swarm Lord, hey? Eh? This meta change has been. All it received was one flanker and the better AoE that was meaningful. But it's the way the rest of the meta's shaped and the rest of the nerfs and buffs have happened have just really brought Swarm Lord. Swarm Lord was in the absolute gutter in the tower meta. But here he is again. Real force to contend with. Come on, Tempestus. Taking our sweet time here. We want to heal.
That ain't gonna do it. Why is it not given Swarm Lord the buff? Wait, what am I missing here? What am I doing? Oh, it was Hive Commander, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I thought I'd played the Adrenal Surge first, but it was Hive Commander. I was like, why didn't it buff Swarm Lord? <laughs> yeah, Hive Commander doesn't buff the Swarm Lord, but the other one does. Alright. Cooking with gas, boys. Cooking with gas. Emotec. I quite like that hand. So I think I think this is the one matchup where we do hit face. Jamatsu, if you're watching in chat, let me know. But I I think against Emotec, you are supposed to. Play as the beatdown. Also, not sure if we keep Venom Throw up in this matchup, to be honest. That might have been a misplay without the um, right stratagem. Maybe should have got rid of that. But either way, we've got this guy now, so. Play this. Ah, oh, is it correct to play that? The Scorpic Destroyer can't kill this if he wants to play that. Can stun it, okay. Fair enough. I'm not sure if that is correct now with the new Psychomancer, actually, because it's got Remnant, hasn't it? But I don't think he's going to be reviving it with a control-style deck, so we'll see. Oh! That was one time where I pressed the button. I'm glad it didn't register. I think I pressed try to press end, end turn.
Next turn he's got Tomb World. We get it done before. Okay. That was one of them. Love a strat here, right? So that becomes seven, fourteen, seventeen. We have not got lethal. So he can Tomb World, but I don't believe he's got any Vanguards in there. So it's not really going to help him. Okay, that helps him though. Helps him a little bit. So we need to be able to do 11 damage, right? Yeah, should do it. Kaboom! That's how you beat down Imitate, boys! Ah. <sighs> <laughs> So yeah, there we go. I think Swarm Lord is very, very strong right now. If you like that, please smash that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thank you for all your support. I really do think this deck is pretty well refined. The only thing you might want to consider is whether you want a second Predator Instincts or not. Um, but other than that, I really, really do like this. I mean, obviously, if you see more go wide, you could think about extra removal. But um, it's just got really powerful stratagems, this this deck. Everything from stealth, blank. The, it's not even heal, is it? It's give more health. And then, of course, the hardened biology. I just think it's a, it's a pretty well-oiled machine, this. This is a pretty refined deck, guys. It's definitely a... In my opinion, this is currently Tier 1. Um, mainly because Imatech is also Tier 1. So, like, it's just the ultimate counter to that. So, yeah, if you're tired of losing... Uh, having 20 turn long uh, battles with Imatech, then this might be the deck for you. All right. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like on the video. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.